Hey everyone, welcome back. A uh, couple things we're going to talk about, obviously, is Bitcoin. Bitcoin has been continuing to go up in price, which is good to see. We're also going to take a look at the miners. So obviously Bitcoin, we're going to take a look at Bitcoin, see what's going on there. We're also going to take a look at the miners uh, versus Bitcoin for the week. And it's actually kind of surprising a little bit. I thought the miners were going to do a little bit better than Bitcoin did, but the majority of them did uh, worse than Bitcoin. So we'll take a look at that as always. And as always, not financial advice, you guys know the drill here. I'm investing in the following coins and companies. Let's get into Bitcoin really quick, and then we'll get into, obviously, the miners here. So Bitcoin right now is at 24,500, roughly. We can see this. We're looking at the one-hour chart here right now. One thing that I absolutely love seeing is the RSI, if we look at the peak here, has continued to go down while the price has greatly appreciated in value, obviously, over the last, what is that? That's say 24, 48 hours or so. So that's always good to see, but we obviously had a, had a nice pump here earlier this morning. Price has gone up. Here's another nice thing I like seeing. We peaked here a little bit on the RSI around 67, but we went down a little bit more while the price has continued to go up. This is very bullish in my opinion right now. And I'm hoping that we see a similar trend that we saw here, where we obviously went down in the RSI while the price had continued to go up. That's kind of what I'm looking for, at least in the short term. So right now we are obviously quite a ways away from our other I guess this would be our resistance line, which is the dot of the green line here. That's around 28,700 or so. We'll see if we can, throughout the weekend, get close to that. I don't know if we'll actually get way up there. That's still a ways to go. We're obviously about $3,000 away, but anything is possible with Bitcoin. So we'll keep an eye on that. Right now, the other nice thing is here, if we go back to the auto view, we can see that it was battling with the support line of 23,800 roughly. And we can see that was obviously really, really battling hard with it. We finally rocketed above it here. And hopefully we can close the day on uh, today, which we still have quite a ways to go before that happens above this line. And that would be obviously a good sign here because yesterday, if we look at the daily, we barely closed. I think we were right on it. If we look at it here, zoomed in, we can see that we were, well, just shy, just barely below it. So it looks like today we may actually close above it, which would be a good sign, obviously as we have battled with that line here previously as well in the last uh, two weeks or so. So that would obviously be another good sign as well. There right now on the daily, I'm seeing obviously price appreciation here. RSI has gone up a little bit from those periods. So we're still okay there. We're not in the overbought territory yet. So we still have obviously a little bit more room to run. And like I said, right now we're looking at the next line of resistance is gonna be the 28,600, 700 mark roughly, as we've seen it as active support in the past here. So, like I said, we'll have to take a, take a peek, see what happens uh, later on today, tomorrow, Sunday, and obviously into next week. Obviously, we have a July ending here this weekend, and we're going into August on Monday. So we're going to have more miners reporting uh, on their July production, which is, going to be, which is kind of going to be interesting to see how all those guys did for the July Period. We're still waiting on Luxfolio. Luxfolio still hasn't provided their June updates. I don't know if they're going to provide that or not, what's going on with them. So we'll leave it as is. Ethereum is up nicely as well. Ethereum is up uh, to 1,728 right now. And it has kind of been trading sideways for the last couple of days. At least uh, peaked up on Thursday, Friday, we were pretty much flat. And then today we're almost flat as well. On it. And you can see that on the RSI as well. But the good thing is RSI has come down a little bit from the peaks. And price has gone up, so that's obviously a good sign there. So we'll keep an eye on Ethereum as well. All right, so let's take a look at the miners here, and then we'll call it a day. So the miners, uh, well, we'll just go through it. So Bit Digital obviously ended up at $1.39 yesterday. Stronghold at $2.98. Sphere at $0.72. Cents, Clean Spark at $3.99. Mawson at $0.93. Cents, Luxfolio at $0.11. Cents. <coughs> Excuse me. Riot at 7.32, Hut 8 is at 2.12, Digihost at 1.27, Argo 1.47, Marathon at 12.99, and Bitcoin, obviously 23,804, that was yesterday's closing price. Iris was at 3.97, Bitfarms $1.46, DMG at 28 cents, Hive $4.51, and Core at $2.51. So obviously Bitcoin was up for the week about 4.8%. These, the majority of the miners did worse than Bitcoin here. Obviously, with BitDigital being down the most, down 24% in the week, compared to Bitcoin being up 4.8. And Stronghold was down also 15% on the week, followed by Sphere was down 7.11. CleanSpark was down 6.9, almost 7%. Mawson 
Mawson was down 1.6, Luxfolio was down 0.91, and then Riot was actually up 2.81, Hot was up 2.91, Digihost was up 3.25%, Argo was up 4.22%, Marathon was up 4.59%. Obviously, Marathon had a great uh, week prior, and a week even prior to that, two weeks ago, had a great week. So that's kind of leveled off a little bit. And Iris was up 5.31%, Bitforms was up 8.96%, DMG was up great, 13.2% on the week. Hive was up really good as well, surprisingly 14.76% on the week. And Course Scientific just killed it this week with 37.16%. Uh, my dad actually started buying Core this week. Then uh, he's getting into it as well. So disclosure there. And obviously looking at the chart here, you can see everybody is pretty much down. Core Scientific is up the most. Let's take a look at the four week really quick. And we can see that we're getting more greens in here. and But we're still seeing consistently uh, downsides here, surprisingly for CleanSpark, Mawson, Sphere 3D, Bit Digital, Stronghold had a couple prior weeks that were better, but it is what it is. Let's take a look at it, uh, sort of sending. And then on the four week, as we look at it, we can see Mawson is down the most, 17.7%, Bit Digital is down 16%, CleanSpark down 12, Sphere is down 10. Bitcoin is actually up 9.54%, and then everybody else below that did better than Bitcoin, with Marathon up 52%, Riot up 34%, Course Scientific up 33%, DMG up 30%, Hot 8 up 30%, Stronghold up 27%, Hive up 24%, and obviously Bitcoin has uh, a 9.54%. Now looking at the eight weeks, we can see here Bitcoin is right down here. Bitcoin's actually down 18.15% on the eight weeks. And then Marathon is up 72%. Riot is up 41%. Hive is up 33%. Hut is 12%. Stronghold 8%. Core almost 8%. DMG up 6.39%. So those guys have obviously done way better than Bitcoin has, with Bitcoin being down 18% from eight weeks ago. Uh, CleanSpark did worse than Bitcoin, down 18. DigiHost did worse, uh, 23%. Sphere is down 26. And Mawson is down 55, almost 56% on the eight week time frame. And let's take a look at the 12 week really quick. Let's see here. Do that. And let's see, where's Bitcoin? Bitcoin's down 18.71 from 12 weeks ago. So these guys did worse. DigiHost, Riot, Hive, DMG, Stronghold, and Marathon's down 14%. And then these guys did better than Bitcoin for the 12 weeks here. Uh, Bit Digital, Exfolio, Argo, Hut 8, Bit Farms, Sphere 3D, Clean Spark, Core Scientific is only down quite a bit, still 40%. Or not did better, worse. They did worse. What am I saying? These guys did worse than Bitcoin. These guys did better than Bitcoin. Sorry about that. Bitcoin's down 18%. So Digihost, Riot, Hive, DMG, Stronghold, and Marathon did better than Bitcoin. And then Luxfolio, Bit Digital, Argo, Hot 8, Bitform, Sphere 3D, CleanSpark, Core Scientific, Iris, and Moss, and did worse than Bitcoin. There we go. Got a little confused myself with all the numbers. Uh, so obviously we'll have to see how this all plays out. Here is all the weekly changes that we've seen for all the uh, miners. So we are seeing a little bit more week-to-week -week, uh, greens here, which is a good sign. And we're getting a little bit less of the red ones. Moss has pretty much consistently been down here uh, almost for the whole 12 weeks that we're, uh, 12, 13 weeks that we're tracking here, except for one week. Let's see here, Bitcoin has been up one, two, three, four, five out of the 12. Argo has been up well, more than that. BitDigital has been down less than that. BitFarms, two, four, six weeks, so about half. CleanSpark, two, four, quarter, uh, third of that. Core, four as well, or three actually. Digihost is up six weeks. DMG is up as well, six weeks. Hive is up five weeks. Hot8 is up five weeks as well. Iris is up four weeks. Luxfolio is up uh, six weeks. Marathon is up five weeks. Riot is up six weeks. Sphere is up four weeks. And Stronghold is up five weeks. So we're starting to see a little bit more green, which is good to see. And hopefully Bitcoin continues to go up in price over the next week or so, um, and which would be kind of nice to see. Obviously, we're having a little bit of a relief rally. I don't know how high we're going to go with this relief rally. 
right now. Um, like I said, the next resistance is going to be at the 28,000 mark, right around there. And we'll see what happens after that. It all depends on the RSI, price of Bitcoin, and everything else. Um, next CPI data is coming out in August. I think it's August 11th. I could be wrong on that, but I think it's right around that time frame. CPI data is coming out. So we'll see how that's going to affect, obviously, everything. Hopefully, the CPI data comes lower than the 9.1 that we had in June for July. But we'll see how that happens plays out as well and then we don't have any interest rate hikes until possibly in September um, from the Fed. So we got two months where there's no Fed action. Uh, we'll see how that either helps out Bitcoin or hurts it but we'll see. So that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did hit the like button, subscribe helps me out tremendously. The spreadsheet is always available to my Patreon members. members. Thank you to those guys over there for their support and that's it. Uh, I gotta go into work tomorrow for inventory, so no video tomorrow. But we'll get back into the swings on Monday. So I hope you guys have a great weekend. Until then, 